I had a dream last night. Do I look there? And in this dream, I realized something I kind of had realized before. But if you go to David Wilcox's blog, he's talking about how the Great Revelation, how they're going, is coming around July 2nd or July 4th, 2013. And that on that date, you know, on July 4th, Obama's already announced that he's going to uh, come out and say that uh, something. He's going to test the national broadcasting system, you know, the presidential interrupting system, and give us all a message. And according to Benjamin Fulford, although Benjamin Fulford's blog has kind of gotten a bit uh, insane lately and untrustworthy, in my opinion, but according to Benjamin Fulford, who's been, you know, 40% accurate, I'd say, 45% accurate, uh, Obama's going to come out and say that the Illuminati's real and 9-11 was an inside job. <sighs> Maybe that'll happen. And I've been sitting here thinking that this is a good thing. And uh, I was thinking that until I had this dream last night. And I realized in the dream... Or in, in the... Let me tell you about the dream. In the dream, I was living my life on the run. And I'm like, okay, I'm living my life. It was in a post-Illuminati revelation world. You know, the world we're allegedly going to go into in less than a month now. So I wanted to make this video because of this dream. Because in the dream, I was living my life on the run because I was a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> and the reason why this is important is because... What happens, right, is if the Illuminati becomes real to everyone, if it becomes accepted as a general fact that the Illuminati exists, that 9-11 was inside job, that the government was totally controlled, then the government, the current government, you know how the more things change, the more they stay the same, we're still going to have the same totally incompetent government running the system after this great revolution like we might have some huge you know debates and some of the high players might get out but like the low level illuminati players you know the guys who are going to take over the illuminati once these guys are like thrown out of office like those people aren't gonna aren't gonna be you know rounded up or there's gonna be like you know and and uh and inst they're not gonna be taken out of the picture instantaneously. So the, the governments, the totally rampantly incompetent governments, are going to have to go around and round up, quote-unquote, Illuminati members. And here's the problem, and here's why in my dream I was living my life on the run, is because the difference between a conspiracy theorist and a member of the Illuminati is so minute that police officers are not going to be able to tell the difference between the two. They are not going to be able to figure out who's a conspiracy theorist and who's a member of the Illuminati. And as a result, they're going to arrest members of the Illuminati just as much as they're going to arrest conspiracy theorists under the false charge of being members of the Illuminati. So... When I realized this, when I had this dream, I suddenly realized this great revelation, at least for me personally, isn't going to be very good. Because I might have to live my entire life on the run, you know? Because I'm a conspiracy theorist. I, I totally admit to that. I'm, you know, 100% like, I do not trust... You know, anything, practically anything the government says or these, these talking heads. And, you know, but I've, I've met an actual member of the Illuminati one, or, well, I don't know if he was an actual member, but he was definitely like an Illuminati satanic, uh, you know, satanically abused uh, homeless guy. And the difference between me and him were so minute, no police officer 
who's, you know, because the police have been designed to be incompetent by the Illuminati, is going to be able to tell the difference between me and an actual member of the Illuminati. <laughs> and they totally did this by design. The Illuminati, I mean, they are freaking brilliant. I have, if one thing, I have to give it out to the Illuminati. They are really smart because they've given themselves such a headroom, you know? There's going to be, every conspiracy theorist is going to be suspected of being a member of the Illuminati. Every single one, whether it's Alex Jones. We already suspect Alex Jones is a member of the Illuminati, you know? Because we're conspiracy theorists, and we go, man, this guy, you know, he's, like, sure into that fear-mongering and stuff like that. It's like he's always promoting the New World Order, you know? But the cops, I mean, like, these cops are totally rampantly incompetent. And now these police officers, the police officers we have now, are going to be the guys who are going to go around and profile us, us conspiracy theorists, to find out if we're members of the Illuminati or not. And they're going to be, like, horribly wrong. <laughs> you know, in fact, the conspiracy theorists are probably going to be the first people to round up and they're going to throw in jail because... Because the cons uh, because the Illuminati is going to already know that this was part of the plan to get the police state to turn on the Illuminati and then throw away or throw or lock up all the conspiracy theorists under you know speculation and no actual facts because <laughs> everyone's going to suddenly become you know oh well you know substantial evidence is evidence now. Oh, it's going to be a mess. It is going to be a mess. It is going to be a mess. So I had to make this video. I have to let everyone know before the fact, before this great revelation happens where we find out the Illuminati is real and all that stuff, that the Illuminati has been planning for this and they have given themselves a magnificent buffer which is us. The, you know, it's like, why do they put all the Illuminati symbology in the Kesha Die Young video, right? It's so blatantly obvious. Like, I show it to people who don't even, like, believe me about the Illuminati stuff, and they go and they're like, really? She's just playing off it, you know? No, it's because the Illuminati want to make us conspiracy theorists look crazy, right? Because we can actually see the stuff, and we go, oh my god. Like, the Illuminati has totally taken over the world. Don't you people realize this? And... <laughs> and they... They have figured out... That they can make themselves... They, they've, you know, they look like the conspiracy theorists. They sound, they talk, they walk like conspiracy theorists. So... They've given themselves this magnificent buffer room where the police officers and the police state, when it turns its guns on the Illuminati, is going to go after conspiracy theorists thinking they're members of the Illuminati in a massive witch hunt, and they're going to be totally wrong! <laughs> and all this time, the Illuminati, which might still be controlling the government, for all we know, during this, this great revelation time, is going to have at least, you know, probably 25 years to just do whatever they want, you know, because they're going to, they, they're, they can get away with whatever. And the courts are going to get all tangled up with, oh, well, is he a conspiracy theorist or is he a member of the Illuminati? And these cases are going to take so long that the Illuminati is going to have, you know, 25 years, I'm estimating after this great revelation, because it's going to take the next generation of police officers, you know? It's going to take kids who are growing up right now, who hear about the Illuminati when it comes out, that the Illuminati's real, that 9-11 was an inside job, etc., etc. And it's going to take those kids to grow up and, act, and become police officers, and then actually get into positions of power before we'll actually have police officers that'll be able to tell the difference between a conspiracy theorist like myself and a member of the Illuminati who 
for all intensive purposes, could be identical to my profile. <laughs> you know, like, and, you know... I mean, I have to question my... I, I guess I have to question myself if I'm a member of the Illuminati. I don't think I am. You know, I know about the, the monarch mind control stuff where they can make a person become a member of the Illuminati without even realizing if they torture them severely and have their bre their, their personalities split. Which is, which is why they've put all this Illuminati stuff out there for us to see, us conspiracy theorists to see, with the Kesha videos, to make us crazy so it seems like we have split personality disorder. It's, oh my, it's just right there. And they're going to use that whole time while the police are running around looking for these Illuminati members and falsely prosecuting conspiracy theorists because we knew, because we were the people who are actually smart enough to figure this shit out, and they weren't, that, oh boy, I mean, it's just, it, it's wow. So, you know, and like, in my dream, it was saying that, you know, I should, uh, you know, my, my dream was basically suggesting that I should, uh, I should get ready to live life on the run. That I should get ready to, uh, you know, abandon everything because the cops are going to suddenly profile me and they're going to lock me down and I'm not going to be able to move because they're going to be like, well, he's a suspected member of the Illuminati because he knows so much about the conspiracies because I've been researching this stuff like way before they have, right? Because if let's, let's, let's pretend on July 4th that Obama really does come out and says 9-11 was an inside job, right? These people or the, the, the cops, that's when they're going to realize what the Illuminati is, and that's when they're going to have to start figuring out what the Illuminati is. And from their perspective, people who have been researching the Illuminati and these conspiracy theories before that date are going to seem like members of the Illuminati because they know so much about the Illuminati. It's, it's like, wow. Wow. So I have to make this video right now, and I have to upload it to YouTube and get this message out and tell you before the fact and tell the conspiracy theorists. And also if, like, you know, I end up in a court and they're like, are you a member of the Illuminati? At least I'll have this video that I can point to and be like, look, guys, look, guys. Like, I know what the frick. I know what I'm talking about. I have researched the Illuminati. And that is why... I appear to be a member of the Illuminati. I'm not, you know, like on some levels, like I suppose, like I've been influenced by them in some ways to, to certain aspects of my personality, which I don't like, you know, I'm not a perfect person, but I'm not a member of the Illuminati. I don't go around murdering children and eating their bodies, you know, or stuff like this that these satanic cults do. <sighs> So that's that's really all I, I got to say about this, I think. But, you know, that dream, like, it was pretty intense, you know. It was a very vivid dream. I, in the dream, like, the first part of the dream, I was with this really swanky party. I think I was probably hunting Illuminati members. And, like, the whole dream, I was looking, like, everywhere I went, I was looking for some place to hide, you know. Like, where do I need to hide from the cops when the cops get here? Because I was already on the run, because I had already escaped custody. And then in the dream, they, like, caught me. And then I escaped custody again. And then I had to live life, you know, I had to figure out how to live life on the run. And so I was, like, sneaking into places and trying to find places to hide. And all this stuff. And, you know, it made me realize that this, this great revelation that's coming isn't going to be, like, the best thing in the world for conspiracy theorists. It's actually, like, yeah, we're going to get justified. It's like, oh, yes, we're all going to get, like, the stuff we told everyone about. They're going to finally go, oh, my God, you were right about everything. Yes. But at the same time, we're all going to become the number one profiled individual for being members of the Illuminati. Oh my god! Alright, thank you for listening. 
subscribe to my channel. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, just just realize this is what this is. They planned this. They planned this. You know they did. Okay. Thank you. Bye.